Okay, welcome to another tutorial by Cell from the web .com. Uh This tutorial is going to teach you how to upload a new product to your e-commerce website. Uh, so, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and navigate to the admin uh, portion of your website. It's basically your website address uh, forward slash admin, A-D-M-I-N. And then you can use your email and password and login. Uh, once you get there, go ahead and navigate to the catalog. Uh, it's the third link on the left hand side here so you click on catalog it'll give you a list of the the main categories in your shopping cart uh, so basically the, this main list of uh, categories is the same as the main list of categories you'll see on the front end of your store uh, so I to get into the category you can either double click on the area here next to the category or just click on the yellow folder and that'll bring you into the category. For this uh, particular tutorial, we're going to upload a new lamp, a uh, Tiffany lamp. Um, but before we actually even go ahead and do that, I just want you to take a, a note of something here. Uh, you have the items listed. You can tell these are items because they have a, uh, a little piece of paper icon here rather than a folder. Categories are folders and items are with this little piece of paper. The one thing you want to notice is that over here on uh, near the right, uh, the status indicator uh, is either set to on or off, green being on, obviously, and red being off. So uh, you can basically turn items on or off uh, from your uh, from your website just by simply clicking the status here. Uh, it's very useful if in case you run out of uh, items, like if you're if you're actually stocking uh, your inventory and you run out of product, you can just simply turn the item off if you don't want uh, folks to buy it, but then turn it back on when you receive inventory. So I just wanted you to take a note of that. Uh, so but right now we're just gonna go ahead and upload a new product. So uh, to do that, you wanna go down here to the bottom and we're gonna add a new product to this category. So you click on new product. And um, my screen is uh, because of the video capturing software uh, my screen is a little bit smaller uh, I have to scroll from side to side um, but you should be able to see your full screen so here uh, here's the information on the adding the new product um, at the very top there are some things which you may or may not need to use depending on how your store is configured um, so for instance if you have your shopping cart uh, set to actually keep track of inventory which is an option you can have it automatically deduct the inventory from your store when when the item is purchased um, then you might need to check check off uh, either in or out of stock for that particular product and also the amount of quantity that you have on hand of that product because it will be deducted from your shopping cart if you have it set to do so um, the product model number definitely want to put something in there in case um, you have different models of similar products uh, if you are uh, shipping based on weight um, if you have like a FedEx account or UPS account and it calculates based on weight and zip code you will definitely want to put a weight in here because that's how it's going to calculate your shipping charges however if you're using a standard uh, shipping fee like a flat rate shipping fee this won't be necessary um, but it, but you can still put it in it won't it won't hurt anything also, if your store, if you have, if you classify items by manufacturer, um, then you would have a, a list of manufacturers here, um, and then you would be able to select a particular manufacturer for this product. I don't have manufacturers for this particular store, so there are none here. Uh, next, you see is the tax class, and you can. This is either taxable or non-taxable setup. Ninety percent of the time, you want it set up where you're charging tax for customers originating from your state and not charging tax to customers that are not from your state. Um, so basically, if you, if you check off taxable goods, which is most likely going to be the case, and say, for instance, you sell the item for $200, uh, it's going to automatically calculate the, the price based on the tax rate that you specify for your particular state. And that's done in a different area of the shopping cart. We'll cover that in another tutorial. Um, so that's pretty much for the basic information. Uh, down here, we have now the the actual product name and description. So for the product name, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put uh, Tiffany Lamp. I've, uh, uh, and then 
for the products Earl, not sure why you would want to do this, but uh, you can actually link this item to a, uh, another website. Um, probably won't do that uh, most of the time because you really don't want customers that are interested in purchasing an item clicking and being taken away from your website before they're even uh, given the opportunity to purchase your product. So uh, I usually don't put anything in here. Okay, next uh, we have the product description area. If you notice, um, you don't know you don't need to know any HTML uh, to use the the shopping cart. Everything is kind of uh, set up here for you. It's it's basically a Microsoft Word style uh, interface. That I'm sure we're all familiar with. Uh, you can basically bold, italicize, underline items, format the text by centering, left align, right align. Uh, you can actually even upload images by using this uh, image button here, and uh, you can actually create links. Now, if you do want to actually use HTML, um, if you've designed your uh, product descriptions and layouts in Dreamweaver or another WYSIWYG editor or hand-coded it, you can actually click here on this HTML button and go ahead and paste the HTML code into the product description area. Um, we won't do that for this particular product. We're just going to go ahead and actually create the item using just the plain uh, uh, interface, the WYSIWYG interface that we have here, um, just so you can see some of the options available to you. All right, so first thing we're going to do is just give a title to the product description, and um, we're just going to go ahead and call it Tiffany Lamp. Um, and so once you've created the text, you can actually just go highlight it. You can bold it if you want, italicize it, underline it. I'm just going to bold and underline it and check off italicize. Um, and that would be our heading right there. Uh, go ahead and hit shift and enter it just shift and enter will give you one space if you hit enter it'll it'll create a new paragraph giving you uh two spaces between the the, the text that you typed okay uh so next thing we want to do is we're just gonna we're just gonna make up a description here uh this is a great uh, be good if i can spell correctly great lamp um you will really like it okay just want to keep it short just so you get the point uh you can also uh do ordered lists and unordered lists uh by clicking here for instance um i'll do an ordered list uh click there you can put in um you know the specifics of the product so i don't know uses electricity made by Tiffany uh, Jr. Um, and let's see what else. Ships in one to two business days. And four available. Whoops. I'll just put in stock. Keep it short. And and that's it. And then once you're done, you can just click again on the uh, ordered list button, and now you're back to your regular type. Um, so we can put some more information if in here if we want. So please call for specific shipping instructions. Yeah, this is, could be anything that you need it to be. I'm just making stuff up right now just to kind of show you how you can lay things out. Uh, so you can actually add images here if you'd like to. Um, and uh, the there's there's two there's two ways you can add images. Um, one, you can add images in the des in the product description area here. Uh, another way is actually uploading the product images that are shown in the shopping cart. For instance, these right here, the image that you click on uh, to get to the product description. So for instance, we click on this thumbnail here, it'll bring us to the product description. Um, and here we have the product description with the item. And then if we click on this small image, it will give us the pop up uh, larger image. Now, you don't actually have to upload three different images here, like how you have small, medium and pop up. You can actually use the same image and th 